So, we're going to start uh, chapter number six, IPv4. As you know, we've got two types of IP, V4 and V6, but we're not going to discuss about V6 now. So, we're just working on IPv4 now. I've got just some brief description about the things that we're going to have in this chapter. Uh, explain the structure of IP addressing. So, who can tell me what is IP address? What is IP address? I've told you. Address that uh, end, end, end device that. Any endpoint device that is that address. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So, can we have any example of the IP address that can show us? Can you please the other direction? Yeah, thank you. We can use that. Yeah. So, if the IP address, as I said before, is like uh, the, your phone number. It's the valid address that you're going to use. It really depends on the domain that you're going to use, but it's a valid number. So, you can trust that number, you can do your thing. Depends on how far you're going to, I don't know, use your network, you should use this different thing for the IP address. So, uh, it's just a review. I, I showed you before that we've got the IP address. If you've got any problems with these fields, please ask me. But I always cover all these things in the previous session. But some of you are new now. So if you've got any problem, you can ask me. I can just give you some brief description. Um, first of all, we've got the IP address for the system. The IP address is uh, the place that you are in the network. I told you again, this is depends on the size of the network, so the, I mean, the, which type of the IP address that you're going to use is depends on the network. And then we've got a subnet mask. What is subnet mask? So, I told you that the IP is the same as the phone number. Okay, that's all. It doesn't do anything more than that. So, and the subnet will be... Something. Something. Yeah, it is something that I told you, I told them that it, is yeah. something, that it is something. It is something that you can calculate the size of your network. Uh -huh. That's why you use the subnet. So you can understand what kind of network are you going to use and what is the size of the network. Are you comfortable there? You can also come and see here if you want. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Fine. Excuse me. Yeah. Is it important to measure the size of the network? Yes, it is important. What's the point? Yeah, we, we are sitting in this class, yeah. so there are about 50 chairs here. Can we, I don't know, have 200 students here? Can we? No. No, it's not possible. Why? Because of the size of the room. So if we need, I don't know, the place for 200, we have to first of all think about the place, then ask, I don't know, invite people to that place. So if you're going to make a network, you have to understand what size of the network are you going to build. Then you can decide what size of the IP and what thing that you should write in the IP or subnet field. Okay. That's the reason that it's so important to you. Okay. Subnet map. That is the, one of the key things about it. This is your address. This is something. Yeah. That helps you to understand the size of your network. Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about why we need mm. that part, but it's just something. Combination of these two will give you the size. How we're going to find it. Then we've got a default gateway. What is it? That is the way out of the local network to the internet, kind of. Hmm? If you're going to take a information and send it somewhere out of your local network, you need this gate. You need this default gateway to get. Can we say that default gateway is like a door for us? Yeah. So it can go anywhere. It's not just the internet. It can go anywhere. It as I said, our local area network, our LAN, is the same as a building. You don't know how to go outside the building. So, the place that you can go outside is the exit door. Mm. It's entrance and, I don't know, the exit door. Okay? So, the gateway is the place that you can go outside. Can you use the window for going outside? Can you enter through the window? That's the point that you can find who is the hacker. Because they should use the door if they're authorized. 
If not, you try to enter from another place. So that's that's why we just need the fixed place that we are going to say that this is our income place and this is the outgoing and incoming will take place here. So you have to be authorized to pass that part. If you're not authorized, you can't pass. So we really need to find out what is the gateway for us because we have to understand and we have to get a fixed place to I don't know. Can you see somewhere there? Yeah, thank you. Mm. Or if you want to sit back there, you can see. So that's why we need a default gateway. As I said, default gateway is the same as your IP. It's just address of the door. Okay? Then we've got a DNS. Two kinds of DNS. Who's DNS? The system will give you the information about the uh, resolving names and the IPs. You can remember all of them, right? Yeah, that was from the first section. Yeah. yeah. So can I patch this as far? So as you know, the IP is divided in four parts, four offsets. It means that we've got eight bits here. So because we've got ten fingers, that's why we're using decimals here. But it's not really work with decimals. So that's that's like can say that that's binary thing. Okay. Any problem this far? No. So as I said, IPv4, that we can say IP, that we're not going to say version 4 anymore, so that's IP. IP is a combination of four parts, four different parts, all of them would be eight bits, that we've got 32 bits then. So that's the address. But, as you know, this is a copy-paste of the, the book thing, so you can click in here and find out what, but we've got 32-bit addresses, so that's the address, okay? We've got an octet, each of them, or one octet, because they are scale of eight in the decimal things. We've got host, could be this part, could be this part, could be this part, could be this, no, not the whole of it, but it is so some part of the object will be the host, some other will be network. That's really important for us. Which one is the network, which one is the the host? How can we understand that? Combination of IPs and 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 sub. Mm -hmm. 